you're totally sodden. Ah! Hello, Wonder Hussy here. I'm all bundled up, freezing my tukas off. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere again. Uh, it's December 5th, I think. Woo. And well, I wanted to go camping, so I headed on down to Arizona, which you would think <laughs> is nice and warm and sunny, <laughs> but that's not always the case. Anyway, I'm here at this absolutely beautiful Creekside campground in a grove of cottonwood trees. You can see all the leaves are turning color. It's just a beautiful late fall day. Wow, I gotta show you guys my view. So here's the creek coming over this little rapid here. We're gonna go upstream here. It's gonna get bright and sunny. Look at that, holy cow, it's just amazing. Okay, let me step away from this rapid because it's not so loud. Uh, the reason I'm here camping at this, well, I was gonna say campground, but it's really just sort of a BLM camping area down by this river is there's a hot spring here. And let me tell you something, this is a doozy of a hot spring that I've been wanting to go to for years. It's uh, the ruins of an old hot spring resort that I guess used to be down on this river back in the day. And I'm not sure what happened to the resort, it ended up going out of business. But I guess the stone foundations of the buildings are still there. And they're filled with hot, I think, or maybe warm water. So you can actually soak in them. Anyway, the only downside, I guess, to this hot spring is, well, to get to it, I think it's on the other side of that river. So my understanding is you have to hike from the camp area about a mile upstream and then ford this freezing river. And in, in this river is no joke. Actually, I think somebody died trying to do this back in 2010. Um, so I guess a lot of it depends on what time of year you come down here. Um, <laughs> we're here in December, <laughs> like I said. And well, part of that is it just worked out that way. But part of it was also strategic because I figure, well, it's been a dry year. I don't think they had any monsoonal thunderstorms at all in Arizona this whole summer. Normally they get a lot of rain in the summer. Well. I guess there's a drought going on. So I figure the river will be at its lowest right now because there hasn't been any snow melt or any rain all summer long. Uh, so according to my friend that I'm here with, he thinks the water will only be about up to my knees, mid thigh. Still not exactly something I'm looking forward to, but hey, if there's a nice hot spring on the other side, huh, well then I guess it's worth it. Anyway, you can see there's like little campsites hidden all throughout the cottonwood trees right here along the riverbank. It's really a nice little camp area. And I'm here with a friend of mine. Uh, we camped here last night. We got in just as it was getting dark and I don't recommend doing that because it's kind of hard to figure out your way around down here. And the road in is pretty gnarly. Again, that was a, another reason we wanted to come here after it hadn't rained in quite a while because it's like a 20 mile, I think, dirt road to get here and it's pretty rough and rutted. And I can imagine that after a rain, whew, it'd be gnarly. Anyway, we're, we're just uh, packing up our gear uh, into, uh, well, I brought a dry bag. I thought that would be the, the thing to carry all my gear if I have to ford across this friggin' creek. I got my bathrobe in here. I've got a few things I might need, including a bikini. I'm not sure how strictly it's enforced, but there was a sign as we rolled into the camp area that said no nudity. Now that might just mean here at the campground, but in case it means at the hot spring itself, well, there's a bikini in there too. So we're uh, locked and loaded and ready to make the one mile hike to the hot spring, including the freezing cold river crossing. Yikes. Okay, it says river crossing to the hot spring is one mile along this beautiful autumnal riverside trail. That's my friend that I'm with. He doesn't want to be on camera. He's very camera shy, he's very private. Uh, in fact, he doesn't even want me to use his real name. So for the sake of this trip, because we're going to be traveling around together for about a week and a few days to a bunch of hot springs in Arizona, I'm just gonna call him 
Terry. Another thing I'm looking forward to at this hot spring is uh, there's supposed to be really amazing graffiti on the walls of the old abandoned hot spring building that's full of water. It's supposed to be very colorful, well executed like, paintings, not just graffiti, but actual paintings. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if that's true. Okay, hiking along. Now the trail's getting real close to the river. <laughs> Wow, look at this river though, it's just beautiful. Holy cow, I mean, look how beautiful this would be in the friggin' summertime. I mean, I have a feeling it's probably hotter than Satan's you know what down here in the summer, because we are down in a canyon. I'm not sure of our elevation, I'll have to check that. But uh, it's probably super hot in the summer, but oh my God, to be able to float in this friggin' river <laughs> and then uh, go in the hot spring and I, oh, officially added to my bucket list. Wow, wait, <laughs> what a friggin' beautiful place and what a beautiful time of year to be here. Yeah, it's probably awesome in the summer, but whew. Okay, I just looked at my altimeter and we're up around 2,600 feet here. So even though we're down in the bottom of this canyon along this river, we're still at elevation which uh, maybe partly explains why it was so chilly last night and why these hot springs are gonna feel so amazing. Okay, well, I'm guessing this must be where we have to ford the river because, well, the trail goes right down to it. Uh, it doesn't look terribly deep, but it is, well, it is moving fairly swiftly. And there's an island in the middle there. I don't know if you can tell, there's that little spit of land and then the water goes beyond it. I think my friend mentioned that there is an island where we're supposed to cross. Now, to be honest, I have heard conflicting accounts of where you're supposed to cross the river and what the best place is, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, the person I emailed asking for advice about it never answered me, Voda. So uh, we're just gonna have to stumble on blindly here and hope we don't drown. Apparently the hot spring, uh, you're not able to see it from here, but we have to cross the river and then we have to backtrack down the other bank a bit. And I guess it's not visible at all from this side of the trail. So it just makes things that much more exciting. Guess it's time to drop trow and wade into the chilly waters of the Verde River. Okay, I'm gonna put these water shoes on for the crossing that somebody very generously sent me. Knew they'd come in handy one of these days. Okay, I'm ready to make the crossing. I might not look like it above the equator, but I'm ready below the equator. Ah! I did leave my chonies on. That's underwear for you non-cholo speaking viewers. Uh, so I'm not gonna flash anybody. Oh my God, but it, this water looks so cold. Nothing for it but to go for it. Brr! Racing, yeah, woo, ah. Holy wow, I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty friggin' cold. <laughs> legs, wet legs, I don't feel my legs. Gosh, and it's getting deep too. I mean, I'm only 5'3", so, oh gosh, I really don't want my underwear to get wet. Gosh darn it, maybe I should have taken them off. And this is, keep in mind, this is like the low, low, lowest this river ever gets. And this is how deep it is. I think I'm about halfway across. Current's moving fairly rapidly, but not too strong. Water's moving pretty fast. And it's getting deep, man. It's all the way up to my crotch now. Oh my gosh, yikes. Oh no, my underwear. <laughs> They're totally sodden. But I think I, I passed the deepest part. I'm coming out the other side now. Woo-wee! yike er -roo. That is cold. Ah, brr, I don't care who you are. It's never fun 
getting into that cold of water. Unless, of course, there's a hot spring on the other side of it. <laughs> Let's hope it's worth it. Okay, for reference, that's what we just crossed. And I must say, if it was that deep at its lowest point, I can actually see how somebody drowned in it uh, back in, I think it was 2010. Someone drowned trying to do this crossing. So be careful and come here when the water is freezing and low. Okay, here comes Terry. <laughs> he should have taken his pants off like I did. Anyway, so now we're kind of like on this island thing and we gotta, well, there's still a bit to wade across, but it's pretty shallow. So might as well just get it over with. It's cold, but it's not as cold as it was when it was all the way up to my crotch. Let me tell you. <laughs> Man, there's really no marked trail, so I have no idea where on this other bank I'm getting out of this river. Am I confusing? I thought there'd be a sign or something, but either we crossed at the wrong place or there is no sign. Hmm. Okay, well, Terry's trying to figure out where to stash his boots because he doesn't want to carry him across. But look, this is definitely the crossing we have to do now that we're all on the other side of the island, there's a stack of rocks there that somebody built. I think that indicates that we have to do this crossing too. Yikes, I mean, it's not like super deep, but it's pretty deep and it's moving fast. It's, I think I might need to put my phone away for this crossing. Yike er roos Oh my God, I'm not a very good swimmer, so that was kind of scary for me. That current was moving fast. Didn't get too deep though. The bottom was kind of slippery on top of it all. Oh, all I can say is I'm double, triple, super extra plus glad I brought these water shoes. Oh, they're a lifesaver. Okay, well, now we still have to bushwhack blindly along this bank until we find these dang hot springs. Man, they better be worth all this. Okay, so now we're just kind of hiking along the opposite bank, back downstream to where these freaking abandoned resort ruins supposedly are. This is the kind of adventure I was born for. Well, it looks like there's some kind of old rusted gate or something that used to... Maybe there used to be a road down here. Wow. Okay, I think I might see. Oh, you think we should try crossing back this way? Oh, doesn't that look easier? And that goes straight to the other bank? If you want to cross here? Well, we can try going back this way. Okay, Terry thinks it'll be easier if we cross back this way because it's... Well, it's pretty swift moving, but it's not as deep. And it's just one crossing instead of the two that we had to do. Anyway, if there's anyone here at the hot spring, we can ask them for advice, but I can't imagine there's too many other people as crazy as us out here in this, <laughs> in this chilly weather. Okay, I think we might be getting close. Isn't this a little stone ruin of something here on the left? I know, apologies for the sun. It's right in front of me. That's just the way it is, but look at that, yeah. That looks like part of an old building. Methinks we're getting close. All this nearly drowning, nearly freezing will be worth it when I finally get to soak in the legendary waters of this dang hot spring. Okay, here's part of an old fence. Oh, look, it's even paved here. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, wow, we're here. Look at the wall. This is gonna be so freaking epic. I can't wait to see this. Oh wow, look, there's a campsite here. That would be an amazing place to camp. You'd have to backpack all your gear across the river, but wow, that'd be sick. And then look how there's this one lonely palm tree. All that remains of what was once a beautiful resort. Okay, so we're continuing downstream. We still haven't come to any hot springs, but we are coming to some more kind of stone ruins. Looks like there was a sign here at one time. I don't think it says anything now. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so interesting. Okay, now surely there's gonna be some better graffiti than this. Leviticus 11, dietary law. Is that the thing about not eating shellfish? Huh, look at this. What do you see? No city rules. Oh my goodness, look at this, wow. It really is the ruins of an old hot spring resort. This is amazing. It's old staircase. Holy wowzers. Oh, and there is graffiti here and there. All you need is love. Classic hippie drivel. Oh, wow, this is so freaking cool. I'm walking down a freaking staircase at an abandoned hot spring resort. 
Oh wow, look, and here's the pools. Oh wow, there's somebody in the hot spring pool. So I can't really shoot any footage, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna go show you a little peek. There's a couple pools looking out at the river with beautiful mosaics. Look at that. Okay, here's a sneak peek inside. Is this like an indoor pool? I wonder how warm. Let's see. Oh, it's warm. It's tepid. But it's not like hot. It's actually pretty warm. I'll, I do have my thermometer in my dry bag. I'll check the temperature, but wow, they weren't kidding about these friggin' the graffiti here is amazing. Okay, Terry got in the pool with those two other dudes, but I'm not gonna shoot any footage over there because I don't wanna, you know, ruin their mellow. Here's the outside of that one I was just in, and there's a little tiny pool right outside of it. But look at how all these stones are painted individually. It's just amazing. Oh, look at this one. I definitely agree with this. Hippie drivel or no. When the rich wage war, it is the poor who die. Okay, well, I wanna get in the hot spring pool. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to shoot any friggin' footage because those other two dudes are in it. So hopefully they leave, but probably not <laughs> as much effort as it takes to get here. So uh, I'm just gonna give you kind of a little pan. And I'll show you the little corner of the tub and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get in. Okay, there's the beautiful river. And here's the gear of the people who are soaking. They left their clothes and shoes and stuff here. And then here's the ruins of the old resort, and then there's the pool that they're all soaking in, which I'm about to get into. Okay, wow, well, that's the hot spring I was just soaking in. It was freaking awesome. But there's actually even more people here now, so it wasn't really, there's too many naked people around to shoot footage. Yikes. <laughs> it was about, I think it was 90, 91 degrees in there, and then I went in the inside one, which is like 96. And, well... It was warm, but it wasn't really warm enough. So I think my friend and I are actually gonna, well, we're gonna suit up and hike back to camp and make some something hot to eat or drink to warm up. Okay, I'm suited up again. Well, just to the equator for the hike back. But before we leave, I just noticed this, there's this mysterious cave. So just around the rock face from the pool there, there's this cave that goes into the side of the mountain. I think this might be where the source of the hot spring is coming out of. Although it's not very hot in here. So maybe not. Yeah, you'd th it'd be steamy and hot in here if this was the source. And it's pretty funky and stagnant looking. Ugh. But look, there's like this whole tunnel that goes back into the mountain. This reminds me of the sauna cave. You know, if you've ever been on the Colorado River below the Hoover Dam in Black Canyon, there's that really neat sauna cave bored into the cliffside there that has a hot creek running through it. But this, yeah, this is definitely not hot in here. This place would be filled with steam. Okay, well, anyways, I guess I better stop yakking and start hiking back. This is one of those places that's really hard to leave because there was such a neat group of people hanging out. Uh, we met some really cool guys that are camped here uh, and they invited us to come over to their campfire tonight. They're gonna be playing some music. The one guy had a flute. This guy was so interesting. He's originally from New York. So he had this New York accent and he seemed like a, you know, old school New York tough guy. But now he's all, he's been out in the West for 20 plus years. So he's got long dreadlocks and he's hanging around naked in a hot spring with a bunch of weirdos playing a flute. <laughs> That's what going to the West will do for you. Anyway, cool people, had a great time soaking there. Would I come back to this hot spring? Well, that's pending. Uh, we got some intel from our new friends uh, as to the best way to get back across the river. So uh, let me just see how easy or difficult and or unpleasant the return crossing is. And then I'll let you know if I'll be back here or not. Okay, now we're at the point in the river well, we're gonna attempt to cross back. I guess I'm just gonna try this crossing and see if it's any easier. Okay, well, the most direct route would take me past that thing, but uh, 
Terry here says that the pull, the current is pretty powerful. I mean, you can see this water is moving. So I'm going to veer quite a bit to the left of it. Ah, that nice refreshing cold water how i missed you da, 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 da. yikers yeah it's a strong current but it's not as strong as it was at that second crossing before here it gets stronger okay i gotta go broadside face into the current that's what my friend here says you do and he would know he's a surfer don't go sideways it'll be easier to knock you over you gotta face well just like with any of life's challenges you gotta face head on into it <laughs> Da, 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 da. Just crab walking across a cold creek with no britches on. Basically another Saturday in the life of Wonder Hussy. Uh, I can hardly feel my feet. Ah! Okay, wow, that crossing was a lot easier than the way we came. A lot easier. And so now I can make a, an informed decision or give you an informed opinion as to whether or not. Well, spoiler alert, I will definitely come back here again. <laughs> amazing <laughs> I guess uh, the one guy we were talking to said you can't hike to this for like half the year it's totally like the river is just too high so you can only get to it by raft but the times of the year when you can hike to it, it seems like a great place and well I have a feeling I will be back okay so now that I know the easier place to cross the river well it's not really that well marked or that evident from the trail itself but if you are hiking to this hot spring and you're coming from down there, the campground, and you follow this road all the way down, you'll come to a point here where there's a green rock, which I assume, oh yeah, there's an arrow on that. There's arrows painted. Okay, well, you probably can't see because the light's kind of harsh, but there's a couple rocks painted green there. And then in the background there, that rock there has an arrow, a green arrow painted on it, and it's pointing right into the trees there. There's a little trail going through the trees and that's the way you want to go to the easiest river crossing. Hopefully no one watching this is salty that I'm giving away all the secrets of this hot spring, but I feel like this is a pretty well-known hot spring. Uh, I mean, it's in all the books and you know, it's on maps and whatever. It's not like some secret soak. So I feel okay in, in uh, showing this. And also if I, hey, if I can prevent anybody from drowning, well then, by golly, I feel like I might have done a good service. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, holy cow. Walking back to uh, camp, we ran into this adorable family. Mom, dad, and two adorable little blonde daughters. And they go, oh, hey, it's you. And I looked at the, like, the mom had the same exact sunglasses as me and a kind of a similar style hat. And I go, oh yeah, twinsies. And then the little girls got all excited and they're like, it's her, it's her, <laughs> it's Wonder Hussy. It was so cute. This family watched my, they, I guess they watched my channel. If you guys are watching, hi, it was nice meeting you. Super cute family. Uh, and they were coming to check out the hot spring because, well, they thought I had already made a video about this hot spring, which I hadn't until now. But anyway, they found it and they're going to check it out. <laughs> and they were super excited to meet me. And let me tell you something, <laughs> I sure am glad. <laughs> I put my pants on. <laughs> Actually, I got an idea. I'm gonna hike back down to camp because we're almost to our campsite. And then that family, I saw their car parked at the trailhead. I'm gonna go get a bunch of my stickers. I have some stickers with me in the car and I'm gonna go leave them tucked under their windshield to give them a little surprise care package from Wonder Hussy. Whew. Okay, I just went back down to camp and I got some of my stickers and I put them inside a card Huh? Oh, one for the family and one for each of the ladies. And then I wrote a little note saying it was nice meeting you guys. And I'm guessing this is their truck parked here. It's the only truck parked at the trailhead. So I'm just gonna tuck it right under their windshield. Wiper like that. That ought to do her. Man, hopefully that's the, their car. Otherwise somebody else is gonna get to their truck and be like, who the heck is Wonder Hussy? <laughs> And hopefully they don't think it's creepy that I did that. Guys, if you're watching this, I had nothing but the purest intentions. I don't think they're gonna mind though. They seemed like a really cool family and they were pretty progressive because they had these two beautiful little blonde daughters, little girls, cute as can be. And they told the girls, you know, they warned them there might be naked people at the hot spring. So I'm actually curious <laughs> to see what they think of the crew that was there. I mean, I loved hanging out, talking with them, but you know, they were, they were colorful looking. Like, remember I was talking about the guy from New York 
<laughs> he kind of looks like Captain Jack Sparrow, you know, long dreadlocks. And he, he's one of those guys that looks rough and he kind of sounds rough, but oh, he was also just as sweet as can be. You know, that's one thing I've learned uh, in this life is, well, you can't always judge a book by its cover. You know, sometimes you meet someone who looks real nice and they might even talk real nice and they might even act real nice to your face. But underneath, ugh, they can be nasty. Then you meet someone like Captain Jack Sparrow of the Hot Spring, and he might look a little rough, and he might sound a little rough, and well, he might even smell a little rough. <laughs> if you're watching this, you didn't smell rough at all. But he was pure gold underneath. Okay, enough philosophizing. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, just headed back down to camp. It's only about 1.30. Have a little bit of lunch, do a little bit of work, and just kind of relax. And then later tonight, those guys from the hot springs said they're going to be playing some music. Jack Sparrow has a, a really pretty flute, this wooden flute that he plays, and it sounds amazing. Uh, and then I guess there's going to be a guitar and some drums. And well, by gum, it's shaping up to be a real Saturday night hoot nanny down at the old hot spring. <laughs> and I just want to have a good time and not have to worry about trying to record stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here with the short addendum that you know how I said I'd probably be back here? Oh, I will definitely be back here.